Welcome to Statistics in Excel Video 2. As always, if you want to download this workbook, Business 210, Chapter 00, Intro to Excel. XLSM, go to my college website and download this. Hey, we have to talk about the first big thing that Excel is good for calculating. Now, calculating, we all know algebra. This is a statistics class, and we know our order of operations. Order of operations, huh? Yeah. If we're doing a math equation, we have to solve for everything in the parentheses first. Uh, exponents, multiply and divide left to right, and add and subtract left to right. Now, what we do have to learn is we have to learn Excel's operation symbols. Hey, there's parentheses. Here's what it is. Here's the symbol, and here's the keyboard shortcut. Shift 9 and Shift 0 to get those two. Exponents, that's called a caret. That's why, of course, Bugs Bunny is so good at doing exponents. Shift 6. Multiply is asterisk. Do the number pad instead of the, the keyboard, which is your normal. And then next is the navigation keys, the arrows. And finally, all the way on the right is your number pad. Division forward slash plus minus join. We're not going to use join very much, but we will have to do it a few times when we're doing um, joining, like when we're doing the count if function, join, that's shift 7. Equal sign, all formulas start with an equal sign. The definition of a formula is, starts with an equal sign, first character in the cell. Hey, that's to the left of the backspace. Then we have greater than, that shift um, period. Greater than or equal to, well, of course, in algebra and other math classes, we had one symbol that represented greater than or equal to, but not in Excel. You have to type a greater than, no space, and then an equal. So two characters right next to each other, greater than and equal. Less than, less than or equal to, and not. That means not. Less than, greater than, it just means not. Now let's do some examples. Hey, in Excel, we make formulas. When we make calculations, we make formulas. How do you make a formula? Formulas start with an equal sign. Hey, we're going to look at some different formulas. We're going to look at arithmetic formula, a function that's also a formula, a text formula, and a true-false formula. All of them start with an equal sign. Let's start here. Um, actually, let's start. I'm going to use my scroll arrow to scroll over. I just want to do a real basic formula first. I'm going to click in cell E22 and, t and type um, subtraction, enter. Subtraction. And now I want to subtract, take 100 and subtract 69. Equal, that is the first character in the cell, has to be an equal sign. That means it's a formula. Once you do that, it's in edit mode, and it, it changes. When you click on a cell like this, C22, oh, look at that. The cell reference C22 gets put into the formula. Now type minus and click on C23. I'm going to hit Enter, and the answer is 31. Now, that's a formula. If you click back on the cell, you can see in the formula bar equals C22 minus C23. Now, let's click back up in C22 and change this to 200. Before you hit Enter, take your eyes and look right here. Now hit Enter. Oh, look, it updates. These are input numbers, formula inputs. This is a formula equal sign using cell references and an operator. If we change the inputs, the formula updates. I'm going to scroll over using my scroll bar, scroll arrow. Now, that one didn't need the order of operations because it was just 1. It was subtraction. Now, here we need to subtract. Take this number, x, and subtract our average, 10.15. But bef we need to do that subtraction before we do our exponent, which means squared. X, that little caret 2 means squared. So because we want to do subtraction, before our caret or exponent, we have to put that subtraction in parentheses. All right, let's type an equal sign. And then Shift 9 to open parentheses. Now we're going to click on our uh, x value, which happens to be in cell A22. Minus, now we're going to click on cell A24. Shift 0, which is closed parentheses. Shift 6, which is exponent and a 2. Since we're squaring, we can put that number right into the formula. I'm going to hit Enter. So the answer is 12.25. If we click in this cell right here and type 10, Enter. 
Notice this is a formula input and our formula updates. The formula itself is still the same. Let's click in the cell and let's use our F2 key. The F2 key puts the formula in edit mode, edit mode. We can still see that the formula has not changed, but the formula inputs have. So this evaluates to, I hit enter, 0.25. If I type 10.5 here, then our deviation squared, which is this call, what, what this is called, we'll learn this in chapter 3, is 0. Now let's do another formula, calculating. We're still calculating the formula. I'm going to click in this cell right here. And I'm actually going to Control F1 to show you, Control F1 to show you our home ribbon. Now most of us know how to do auto sum. If you don't, here's the auto sum button. You click on it, and it puts in an equal sign, which is the definition of a formula. Formula has to have the equal sign as the first character, and then the word sum. We're going to see lots of excellent functions, built-in Excel functions, and they'll always have the word sum, or average, or max for the biggest value. And then two parentheses, and all the arguments go inside the parentheses. Now, the sum function, like the average and the max, just needs a range. And that cursor is flashing. It means, hey, take your cursor and click on the first cell in the range and click and drag. I'm clicking and holding and dragging. So now it has C22 colon C26. And hit Enter, 495. Now, I want to do a, um, another formula here, but we're going to type it out. The first character that must go in a cell if it's a formula is equal sign. Then type SUM, open parentheses, highlight the range, close parentheses. Now I'm going to actually use my scroll arrow here so I can see this a little bit uh, more clearly. And now I'm going to do forward slash, which means division. And now I want to count. I want to count all of these right here. So I'm going to type count. That's a function. We'll use that a lot. Now notice something. These are in little letters. Just a moment ago when we did the sum function, it had capital letters. Well, these will um, be automatically converted to capital letters when we enter the formula. The fact that they're small doesn't matter. You can see a screen tip here. If you see that screen tip, you know you have the right function. Now I'm going to highlight this range right here. And then type close parentheses. Now I'm going to hit Enter. Oh, 99. That's the average. We added them all up and did by the count. Mean is the technical statistical term, but average is also used um, especially in Excel. And it means the mean. Add them up and divide by the count. Now I'm going to click in the cell and hit F2. That puts it in edit mode. You can see our formula has capital letters now. Hit Enter. And now let's type equals average. And in 2007, you get a drop down with a list of function. You can actually select any one of these. And as soon as you, one of the functions in the list is blue, you can hit the Tab key. Now I'm going to click Escape and do that again. Equals AV. Now what if you just type AV? You can then use your down arrow to select any one of the functions and then hit Tab. Now highlight your range. I highlighted the range. And another cool thing, if it's a simple function like this with just a, a one or two arguments, you can leave the, the end parentheses off. And when you're entering lots of function like we're going to do in this class, that's a good trick. Hit Enter. 99. Oh, look, that we, did, we calculated the mean or average in two different ways. Now I'm going to scroll over and scroll down. Now, I would like to do two more formulas just to show you. There's a couple other types of formulas, a true-false formula. I want to see if these two values here are equal. I'm going to type, click, click in that cell and type equals. Click on this cell, equals, and click on this cell. That has two equal signs. That's the equal sign that says this is a formula. This is the equal sign that's saying, hey, are these two things equal? Hit Enter. That is true. If you were to click here and type 1, Enter. Notice it says false. Now I'm going to do undo. There's on the quap, the quick access toolbar, the undo button, but I'm never going to use that. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut, Control Z. Now one last thing, we're going to do a text formula. Equals, and if you're going to have text in a formula, you have to put it in quotes. Double quotes. The double quotes is right to the left of Enter. The average 
is space end quote. Now we're going to use our join symbol, shift 7, and click on this cell right here. So that is an example of a text. We're joining this text in quotes and that cell reference there, enter. All right, we'll see you next video.